Hey guys, what's up? It's Vic. I know the lighting is terrible in here. I'm trying to figure out my lighting situation, see if I get really like up close, like you can see my eyes and they're beautiful. But if I put the light down there, it has this really off-putting, scary looking thing. Look at my freaking eyebrows, I look like Bowser. Today I'm going to be doing a review. Before I get into this, I'm going to be talking about my penis. I just wanted everyone to know that that's the big reveal. You can probably tell by the title. But I'm going to be talking about a penis. Um, my penis. It's weird because I just recently ordered and received my penis. But I've worn it to work and I've worn it just out and about. I'm excited, but I know that I have to get used to it as well. Packing is a totally new experience for me. I've never done it. I ordered the four... 0.75 inch triple features gen 2s peacock it was such a long title but yes i ordered from peacock products the three function is amazing to me the function is packing peeing and playing it was a good price for what i got i paid 230 for it total the peacock itself was 180 dollars and i also ordered a jock harness for 29 and I also ordered an extra condom and lubricant pack. And I didn't order the pleasure set, which is an option. And I'll get into that later. There's three points I want to hit with the peacock since there's three functions. This is my peacock. As you can tell, it's very like flexible. It rotates. It You can press it down to the left, to the right. It's squishy. It's like a, it's a fun noise. <laughs> it's like a, it's a silicone. Um, I ordered the light beige one. There's the hole for peeing. It's, it's like a cup. That's what it looks like. To me, this is what I imagine it would be like. It looks realistic to me. I mean, I've watched porn, seen videos, seen pictures of penis before. I have a tumbler. This is what it looks like. I ordered the light beige to match my skin tone. As you can see, it's about my skin tone. I mean, it's a little lighter, but... Okay, so this is the, the jock harness. It's got a hole, obviously. Um, so what you do is you take the peacock, you put the, the peen through the hole, and there's like a little pouch, and you put the the scrotum in the pouch and you wear it like <laughs> you wear it like this see how it fits nice and snug in there and then this you know lines up flush with your anatomy so it's just packed in there I prefer to pack to the left so and I'll explain that a little later too because I looked all over YouTube and internets to see how to pack and I couldn't find it. I may sound like a noob, because I am, but you know, you you can pack straight down like that, but with most underwear, it it's hard to, to get it to be down and comfy. So I would just have it a little to the left. That way it goes down along the line of my leg or, you know, to the right, whichever. Um, I preferred to the left because it's just easier for me. As you can tell right now, I am packing in briefs. Um, like I said, I prefer having it over to the left a little more. It could be up. You have it to the right, to the side. However you want to have it is fine. If you're wearing, if you're about to wear tight clothes, you're gonna want to wear briefs because they're tighter they can hold it in place. So like my work pants are a little tighter. If you wear boxers, you can have it looser and wear looser shorts, pants, whatever, sweatpants, joggers. With boxers, it, it can be loose. You have the jock strap. I have the jock harness on right now. So there it is packed and ready to go. Then there's, there's playing, which if you don't know what I mean by playing, then... Oh, God. This right here is called an erection rod. And it's hard plastic. That's, you know, 
what the end looks like. This is kind of more flexible than this. I mean, it's flexible, but it's like... I don't even know the material. Well, it doesn't say what it's made of, but I'm assuming it's some sort of silk. But you just put it in the shaft and it adds girth to it. Obviously with lube it'll go in better, but it's it's hard now. So, for the play. I didn't order it, but you can order a pleasure set, which is like a, a piece that goes on the end of here that would match up with my anatomy to give me pleasure when I'm playing with it. But I just... I have a weird thing about pleasure um, for me, uh, and I, I just didn't order it because I'm like, you know what, I'll order it later if I feel that I need it, but right now I just really wanted it for packing and peeing. I've got Carol on Skype right now, and I was thinking about getting her to come over so I could show you how to play with it. What? What? No. Why don't you show them how to put a condom on because that's safe sex practice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'd probably be more appropriate. Probably. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that then. Thanks, babe. You first need to... Uh, first time I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. You first need to lubricate the erection rod with lube. This came with the... Uh, yes, I have to do the thing. This came with um, the peacock. It was complimentary. It's a uh, lube lubricating jelly, water, water soluble, soluble, and it's recommended that this is, you know, the type of lube that's used, water soluble, because if not, it'll mess up the silicone, and we don't want that, don't, don't want that at all, so I'm going to open this puppy up somehow, I don't know how, I'm probably going to get it all over me, scissors, scissors, you need a lot of things to have sex. And, uh, but it's important to practice safe sex. If you feel like you're doing too much, then you probably shouldn't be having sex. It's a, okay. Oh, okay, that was a lot. Nope. Man. This is so much. Alright, once it's nice and lube -du -du <laughs> you want to insert it into the peacock? Oh, that, that's so much different. Oh, it's making noises. Okay. Alrighty. So now you have a... I mean, it, it looks flaccid, but it's, it's erect, because it's hard. Okay, so now that it's hard, you still don't put it in until you're protected. It's, it's recommended that the condom is lubricated as well, so you just do that and roll it on. And it fits like a glove. I don't even want to press the button because my hands are luby. Let's just get it off. Alright. Ah! Always use a condom. <laughs> that brings me to peeing. Peeing, I'm still getting used to it. I had a little peeing accident the other day. It's like a cup. You don't want it completely flush when you're peeing because it's literally a cup so when it's against your anatomy it needs to cup underneath you so when you pee it all collects right here and it goes you have to lean forward a little bit and it'll go through the hole and out the piss slit and it sounds very realistic when you pee um, I think that's they said on their website that that's an upgrade of the first generation um, where it didn't didn't make really a peeing sound it just made more of a like a just pouring water from a water bottle this the way it's cut into the head it gives it more of a peeing sound the first couple of times I peed with it um, I did really well I just had the jock strap and the peacock on I didn't have pants or underwear the second time I did it, I had boxers on, and I pulled it out of the boxers and stood with it and did it, and it was fine. The third time was while I was at work. I had my work pants on, and my boxers, and the jock strap, and the peacock, and it got a little overfilled. 
you have to make sure you maintain your pissing pressure. That sounds really weird, but there's a flow. And you have to kind of ease off. You can't pee hard or fast, or it'll all fill up and just drip. And then you got pee all over you. And you smell like pee, and no one wants to be around a guy who smells like pee. I haven't gone in the men's restroom yet because I'm still not quite confident enough to stroll in there and be like, here I am, gonna use a urinal, you know, because I'm, I'm not quite confident enough. I think that once I start taking tea, I'll become more confident in going in the bathroom. I'm in my bathroom, and I'm about to pee on camera, but not, not to where you can see it, just, okay. Peeing is not hard either. I just make it hard, pun intended. You, I'm wearing briefs right now with my jaw harness. So you're gonna wanna pull it out of the the briefs. There's like a little opening. You know, wonderful things, wonderful things. Um, obviously every pair of briefs is different. You wanna lean forward. Um, with one hand you're gonna wanna cup the, um, I'm getting really distracted by my face. Let's do this one, ha. With one hand, you're going to want to cup the scrotum, um, leaving your index finger between the shaft and the scrotum, and your other two or three fingers on the actual balls. And you're going to want to push with those two fingers on the balls, lean forward, and pee. And you don't, you can hold the shaft with your other hand to make sure you aim correctly. Um, don't pee hard or fast, or it'll come out of the cup and go down your leg. And all over your underwear and it's not really comfy, so. So you want to shake it a little bit. I'm still peeing, apparently. Um, you want to shake it a little bit to get the excess pee out of the shaft. I still haven't quite got that one down yet. Um, see, I'm still just shaking it. Um, maybe lean a little bit. Lean with it, rock with it. Um, yeah, and then you want to Tuck it back in your pants and walk tall. That's what their slogan is. So yeah, um, that's peeing. Peeing, it takes a little getting used to. Let me flush this so I don't have to smell my own urine. There we go. Peeing takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you do it a couple of times and pee on your own leg, you'll get used to it. Um, just don't forget to put the seat down. I think I'll make another review on the Peacock. But for now, I I am very satisfied with it. I just know that I need to get more used to it. Um, and, you know, I'm excited with how realistic it is. I give it like a 8.5 out of 10, I guess. Because I'm sure there's another better one out there. But for now, this one's, this one's good for me. And until I get a little more comfortable with packing and peeing and playing, I'll be using this one indefinitely. With the play, you want to use a condom because this, you know, it can still collect bacteria. Germs can be on it, just like a regular penis. So you want to use condoms to protect your partner from getting any any infections or any anything going on down there. Um, you want to use lubricant because it's just lubricant's important. Um, Using a condom is important, lubricant's important. You want to make sure you're not uh, hurting your partner by just forcing it in. Um, safe sex is always the best sex. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys.